All right, this week's INMPI is from 3M, Lady Ada. That's right, 3M, you're back. We did 3M a while ago um, for, I think, their squeegees. Um, this week we're doing uh, the INMPI on 3M because um, DigiKey on digikey.com slash new, which is where they put all their MPI. so do visit slash new every once in a while. You'll get some um, heads up on upcoming sensors and chips. Uh, they highlighted a 3M VHV tape, and this is my favorite tape this tape is like it'll mess you up it's so good so oh. that was just me being clumsy that had nothing to do with the tape okay so here what do you want me to do go to the next i was startled me. i know she kicked a trash can over i didn't mean to a lot of people don't realize i'm violent what it no what a <laughs> this is this is like a performance art piece and we have a little bit more space in the factory here in our apartment we have no room but we can touch each wall standing in the middle so um anyways tape tape okay so this is the wheel of uh vhb tape um it comes in different uh widths and thicknesses but we're specifically talking uh this week about the 5906 uh which is um a very skinny foam double-sided tape um that comes on wheels um in this case it, it's actually it looks a little brown in this photo but usually it's actually quite black and i have some and i'll show it off and the great stuff about this tape is it's incredibly strong. It's got this kind of like famous acrylic um, adhesive in it uh, that can bond pretty much anything to anything, like wood, plastic, glass, concrete, what have you. Um, this stuff sticks to it. It sticks to it nearly instantly. Um, it's a lot less messy than epoxy. Um, you know, I, I got this little head, headphone holder that like sits under my desk and, and holds my uh, headsets while I'm not um, using them and it came with VHB tape and even though it was sticking to kind of a rough surface uh, it uh, it stuck well it stuck strong and I can't get it off so um, this stuff is definitely the good stuff and for electronics you could use it for you know bonding panels enclosures sensors you know it's uh, it's not waterproof but it can deal with a humid environment uh, and, and a wide range of temperatures so here is the spec sheet um, so there's a couple different thicknesses available. Again, that highlighted one was the 5906, um, but there's a couple uh, different thicknesses. Um, it, it, you know, it pretty much bonds instantly, um, but after 72 hours, it, you'll get like the, the kind of the best bonding. Um, I think this has the, uh, yeah, the panel, the peel adhesion and the static shear. Um, I think in another page I have the, um, the pull uh, force required to delaminate it. It's like strong. I mean, it's like, you know, tens of pounds of, of force are needed. Um, so this stuff is definitely um, quite powerful. It's used often, you know, kind of like looking into it, it, it it's used often for um, bonding TFT panels to bezels um, and PCBs to enclosures. Uh, and here are some of the use cases. Um, so they actually have a really cool video uh, which we're not going to show here, but if you go to, if you search for 3M VHB scooter, they put together like an entire scooter, like a human is on it and rolling around um, with like no screws or bolts, only VHB tape. Um, and it worked and like it was totally fine for an adult human to roll around. And it doesn't have that many views. It's a very cool video. So I, I do recommend um, checking it out. I, I think I sent it to you, Phil. Maybe we'll post it up uh, later when we put this on the blog. Yeah. There are spec sheets for uh, the 3M VHB tape. Again, there's just like a lot of variations of this tape. Um, so while we're featuring the 30, uh, the 5906, um, there's there's other thicknesses, width, and stuff. And um, another thing is, DigiKey has these in sheets. So you know, when you look, just you know, the sheets are going to be expensive because they're going to be like you know what five feet by like 20 feet or something, uh, massive sheets that can be die cut. But you can also get them in spools, which is what um, we did and what we recommend. So it comes in. Available on DigiKey. It comes, it's on DigiKey. You can get for, I think, like 13 bucks, you can get half inch by five yards. And then I think for 20 bucks, you can get um, one inch by five yards. So I actually got one of each. Um, they're inexpensive enough that you can, like, pick it up without worry, have it in your toolbox. And then 
You know, usually if you're using foam tape or double-sided tape, it's like it's removable. If you need something that's not going to be removable, like something that's really like it's stuck and it's going to stay stuck for decades, um, then, then this is definitely going to do a better job than like your everyday electrical tape, scotch tape, masking tape, uh, whatever. And I can even show a quick demo on um, the overhead. Okay. Sounds good. So... I bet they were here. Okay, so this is the VHB tape. Yeah. Um, Focus in on that a little bit. Yes. Okay, and I've got my scissors. So it comes, um, so of course it's so strong, you can't, it's not like, you know, double-sided scotch tape where you can like peel it off and it's like, yes, it's stuck to itself, but it's removable. Um, if, once it sticks to itself, you can't remove it. So it's got a plastic dividing it's like the one plastic it doesn't stick to. Like they, they that's the thing. They're right? the cure and the disease. When you design something that sticks to anything, if you want to package it, you have to find the one yeah. thing it doesn't stick to, so you can package it. It's like the it. super glue company has a thing that makes it so it doesn't stick to other things. They know it. Yeah. So, so just for a demo, I want to show. Um, yeah, I have these two scrap PCBs. So you would. Uh, Make sure you lock the focus in on a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry. It's going that's, up and down. I know. Hold on. Is this okay? All right, so I cut off a piece of uh, the, the tape and the um, backing. So if I adhere this here, and you, you can see that, right? Yeah. Put your finger there, and then you can peel this off. And then, so I can like kind of sort of remove it. I'm going to put this crossways. And then again, it, you know, 72 hours is like how long it takes for it to like really bond. But, um, you know, wow. this is, here, you, 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 you try it. Right. And you're a guy, you're strong. Ugh. All right. That okay. might, that might have hurt me. You're a monster. <laughs> so it, you know, it is, it is possible. Um, yeah. Also, of course, if you clean it, but you have to have, you have to be able to like wedge it from the side to be able to get enough. I'm um, also cranked out on gear. He's also, he's also <laughs> cranked out. Uh, anyways, uh, he's not. Uh, extremely strong, and then, you know, like, if you didn't go from an angle, if you actually tried to pull it flat, it's really stuck. So, uh, for, like, displays and stuff, or for any kind of electronics where you just have to make sure that it doesn't vibrate loose, and it's got a little bit of, um, the foam is a little thick, so there's a little bit of give, which is also kind of nice, like, it's stuck together, but it's not, like, hard stuck together, like, there's a little bit of flexibility, so if this gets... If it gets um, a shock force, it's not going to like fly apart. This is some of the things about epoxy that drives me a little crazy. Is that some epoxies are so hard that um, you know, by it, if you if you give it a, a kick in just the right location, it'll snap open. Um, whereas this adhesive on the foam backing is just soft enough that I think it has a little bit of give. Um, it'll stay stuck even if it's like shaken or twisted or um, you know lifted and, and dropped. So, so yes, I usually have to test stuff that's like unbreakable or like whatever what i like about this is this was hard to uh to to get apart um you know it like it hurt my hand but is your hand okay yeah it's fine but it did give which i like because in the past you know sometimes i break the thing instead yeah so this this had it, this could hold anything um but it does it does you do make it an easy piece with it and you make a compromise at some point and it will. You, you it can will, you can remove it yeah. eventually. Yeah, that was hard though. You just have to put like you know a hundred pounds of force per square inch. Right? Yeah. So it's it's an, an, a lot of, um, it's a lot of effort, um, but you can remove it, but it's not going to move by accident. Like yeah. you have to try. What I should say is it's purposely or purposeful, uh, re removable. Purposefully. Like, yeah. Okay. Like you have to like have a lot of willpower. Okay. And the VHB stands for, like, very high bond, I think. So, like, there you go, right? That's what it is. Um, All right. I think it's very heckin' cool. And with that, is that MPI? Hi, on MPI.